Hi everyone, my name is Cole Burnham. I'm a sophomore at University of New Hampshire studying psychology and environmental sustainability. This simple introduction is one that I've gone through dozens of times, both through my recent internship and here at CFSI. Information as simple as my year in school and my studies is used to give people a better understanding of who I am. You know, people hear that combination of majors, no one can figure out what they'd be used for together, myself included until only recently. Looking back to my first semester in college, I decided on majoring in psychology with my mindset on possibly going into forensics or law. Going to my first psych class, however, I quickly realized that while I enjoyed the topic, it definitely wasn't what I wanted to spend my life doing. Now with that realization rather early in the semester, this 17 year old kid who had just moved away from home for the first time had to deal with a whole other situation. What am I gonna do with the rest of my life? Throughout my life, I'd always been interested in the environment and helping others, both through volunteering on local farms and by going on volunteer trips to build anything from medical clinics to houses. Looking back now, I have no idea why I hadn't seen my current path any sooner. Despite all this background in the environmental field, it took a single class in eco-gastronomy to open my eyes to what I was truly passionate about. I remember as clear as day when my mind finally shifted into focus. We were watching a documentary in class about the harsh living conditions and lack of pay U.S. migrant workers face in the agricultural field throughout the country. While there had been many documentaries similar to that that we'd watched, this one finally made something snap. While I'll never be sure what truly did change by watching that documentary, I know that it had shifted my entire life in the matter of an hour and 23 minutes. That class was during my first semester of freshman year. By the second, I had enrolled in the sustainability, the sustainability dual major offered by UNH and begun taking two more environmental classes. Despite this complete shift, I didn't drop psychology from my studies. I continued to take the required classes and learn more about the field. Best of all was I wasn't even enjoying it. Yet even with my doubts, I still stuck with it. I'd always believed that to help make a change, you need to be hands-on working at the problem. That was all that I'd done and all that I knew, meaning that the background work psychology focused primarily on wasn't what I believed could help anyone outside of a lab or therapy session. Yet now, still in my second semester, I'd entered into Intro to Sustainability class to find out we had a guest speaker here to talk about a program called Semester in the City. Shocking, I know. After sitting through the presentation and taking a pamphlet back with me, I instantly called my mom and said, I know what I want to do. Now here I am, having just finished one of the most life-changing experiences I have had thus far. I'd worked in community outreach for a solar organization called Solstice, focusing on, focus on providing affordable clean energy and to low-income and BIPOC communities. Starting this fellowship, I wasn't really sure what to expect. That initial skepticism I had few, those few months ago, however, has completely disappeared. Working through this fellowship, I've learned how to be a change maker in any situation and just how much work actually goes into planning out projects rather than just simply implementing them. This newly found information and work ethic has really shown me that I can make a change anywhere and that somehow psychology is actually useful in the environmental field as working with people is half the job. Going back to UNH next year, I'll be returning with more than a simple story or a new check on my resume. Instead, I'll come back knowing that my studies are on the right path to helping people and the planet and that there is a future career waiting for me down the line. Most of all, I realize that there is a way to help any, for anyone to help, regardless of it being behind the scenes or hands-on. Thank you.